they're not going to tell a white person, let's test your wife first. Why are they telling this guy, let's test your wife first? Or, or let's recommend you not have sex for three months and then we'll take your blood. All this nonsense for somebody to help somebody out for his blood to, to help somebody. Like he's not getting anything out of it. He's just supporting, he's just helping, he's just saving a life. Hello fam, welcome to the African Diaspora News Channel. I am Wangil Zalal, I'm bringing you the support. Today's report comes from England. Um, there's this doctor, an OBGYN, um, he's a Kenyan, but he's lived uh, in the UK for a long time and he's a doctor now. He said that uh, the blood system, the donating system is, is basically racist. And he was told he can't donate because his wife is from Kenya. Kenya. Let me read you that article and then we'll be back. BBC reported that a doctor has said he cannot give blood because of his relationship with his Kenyan wife. Francis Gitae Murati, also Kenyan, said the system needed to change to encourage more black donors. NHS rules says people cannot donate blood if a recent sexual partner may have been sexually active in parts of the world where HIV AIDS is common, that is most African countries. Dr. Muriti, who works as an OBGYN in the East Midlands, said he and his wife of seven years were in a monogamous relationship. As a doctor, he has already tested negative for HIV through work since they married, but he said he was told he could only give blood if his wife also had an HIV test through the donation services or if they refrained from sex for three months. He said she had already been tested and the result was negative while she was pregnant. But when he tried to donate, he was told this could not be taken into account. But he said he believed it should not be needed given his result. The 38-year-old who now lives in Gamston has the rare AB plus blood type. He said it's a nonsensical barrier to donation. If you lock out people like me and then carry on saying African donors are not coming forward, it will make us look bad when it's the system not facilitating us. I don't want to appear to be a troublemaker, but the NHS blood donation system needs to change to accommodate more people. So you heard that. The guy is a freaking doctor. They let them uh, check them out. You know, he's an OBGYN. They trust them. They trust him to be a doctor. He's good enough for that, but uh, we don't want his blood. <laughs> in, 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 in so many words, that's basically what they're saying. They said no to him uh, for donating blood. And when he asked why, the answer he was given is your wife uh, is Kenyan and he's like what does that have to do with anything he's also Kenyan um, so he's like what does that have to do with anything and, and they're like our protocol is if anybody comes from those areas African countries uh, they have to you know there's a caution that we need to take and he's like but I've already tested I'm negative my wife has tested too so she's negative so what's the problem so that's what's confusing to me they've already tested negative so they're like no but um maybe you guys don't have sex for three months to make sure and he's like but we're in a monogamous relationship so if both of us are negative then that means we're negative so they're like no three months uh, don't do anything and then uh, maybe we can take your blood and i'm like in the first place bro just leave it alone like if they don't want your blood then so be it um but I, I get it, he's a doctor, so he wants to help people. So maybe he feels the need to contribute and that is why he's been asking. And I'm glad he did because he goes, he went to BBC and they made an article on this and hence we know. I did not know the NHS system in England is, is, is programmed like this. And if you're anybody coming from Africa, they don't even want your blood. <laughs> and it's not even good enough, you know. Um, so that's why uh, the guy was told no. Um, and he's been he has pushed but what they said after you know BBC reached out to them and asked them uh, what's up uh, what they said is they are investigating his case uh, in his case he they will probably allow him I'm like really well he should be flattered that he's he's able to give his blood and save somebody's life uh, so that's what they said and they said going forward they're trying to start a process uh, that is basically in case by case they won't just say all oh, Africans we don't want your bloods and you know uh, let's let's not even talk about it it's 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 not something we want to do now what they are what they say they want to propose is they will take it case by case for example this guy is a doctor I guess he's he's a you know a bigger level as opposed to one African John Doe that came there uh, who is just working in the grocery stores who cares about that one I like it's just blood though like what I'm finding hard to understand is it's blood right like 
even if he's not black they're supposed to be tasted no like when you give blood you need to be tasted for stds and uh, hiv because that the, even if you don't you are a donor and you're a good person good for you they need to protect the other person that is receiving it there are a lot of processes that go that go with uh, you donating so if everybody is supposed to be tasted anyways why 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 are they so focused on this area of the world and africa if, if anybody comes from africa if your wife like if they're not going to tell a white person after you're tested okay you're negative i'm going to take your blood if they're not going to tell them your wife let's taste your wife first why are they telling this guy let's taste your wife first or or let's recommend you not have sex for three months and then we'll take your blood all this nonsense for somebody to help somebody out for his blood to, to help somebody like he's not getting anything out of it he's just supporting he's just helping he's just saving a life um, so that's so, so confusing to me in the first place everybody should be tasted when they're giving blood so what's the big issue here he's negative his wife is negative all the process that they're giving is just just low-key feels like it's racist i don't even know if it's low-key it's high-key racist so they really need to fix this up or black people you don't have to donate whatever like but the issue is i can't say that now because what if it's another black person that's in need of that that uh you know blood and just because they're doing they're they're, they're putting these barriers that will affect the other person that would have needed blood you know so they're reducing the amount of people that would have went there and donated blood and if black people stop doing that then there will be less of it there will be less donation and it's just a few people that will be okay not a few people but just the caucasians that are willing to donate those are it, it will bring reduce the number and would you want that if you're in the medical area you you would want to get as many resources as you can and blood is one one aspect of it when somebody comes in with emergency when somebody loses blood they need it really quickly and uh, it's not something they need to give time so i would assume that they will celebrate somebody willing to donate regardless of their color yellow black white like it's something that you they need to appreciate but then again that's not what's happening so it's crazy to me uh, at least um but anyways guys do let us know down below what your thoughts are about this uh if you're an african or if you came from africa we have to taste your wife too even after that you there's a whole process as opposed to if it was a white person you just get tested and you give and you go on nobody cares about your wife nobody cares about anything else and yeah that was weird uh, to learn about um so i would really love to hear your thoughts and if you're from uk please do let us know down below what what this whole situation is and have you ever given blood and how was the process um i am wangil zalal i'm bringing you this report i will see you on the next one bye